Another thing I saw that was really interesting here in Kings, it was when, um, looks like these, um, the 50 men, the men, the men and his 50 came over to see Elijah in the tree or up the hill, it says in this, this version, in the high place or, you know, in the mountain. And the first two came out there and they just, they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't respect him the way they, they should have. They just said, come down here. Like, hey, hey, prophet, you get over here. You know, and for some reason it was, it was powerful enough for him, you know, um, for, for the wrath of God to come down. It's amazing. I don't understand that. Like, ball headed well, I said later on is Elisha, the, the one with the bear, kill all the kids for calling him ball headed And the judgment was instant. I mean, the judgment for these 50 and 50 was instant. And it was amazing how the angel of the Lord, you know, the Lord probably authorizes the angel of the Lord to come down and um, stop from killing the third batch and actually go down. Because it tells them, it says, um, the third guy comes down there and he's on his knees. He fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up the two captains and the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And it looks like God had mercy on this person that, you know, it said, just send an angel down there, tell him, don't, don't kill him, just, just go with him and, and, and finish the job here. Just do what you're told. And it was interesting. The other guys, I didn't, I didn't think of them as coming there and being rude. Oh, they said come down quickly. Maybe they were being rude. I don't know. It just it just interesting like how God showed mercy on the other people who he allowed to be killed. I mean, that was not that was fire that came down from heaven at the word of a prophet who was like it I don't know if God was saying that he used him to do that. Use use my prophet to, so I can kill these guys, you know. I don't know. Maybe he did. But it almost looks like Elijah just says, you know, I'm a man of God. I can, I don't, you're not telling me what to do. And then he pulls fire down from heaven. It's just like, man, that's terrifying, you know, because God was with him. And so something must have been up, you know, and it was in regards to somebody dying. So obviously the judgment of God was there. And so when the people were talking to him, it was just the judgment they were facing right at the moment. So maybe it was God telling him to do that. But it was amazing how the people didn't get, um, they didn't get burned because they were humble before him. Anyways, I keep running into things I think is interesting. It's slowing down my reading, but I, it's hard not to, um, say something. Something I never noticed before is like when Elijah was talking to God, he was, Elijah was in the cave earlier in first Kings and he, um, the Lord comes, the word of the Lord comes to Elijah and Elijah's, um, God, God asked Elijah, what are you doing here? And he's like, well, Israel is in sin. They're, they've forsaken your ways and all this stuff. And um, and then all of a sudden the Lord comes and appears to him. It says the Lord was by the mountains. And it says that there was uh, a wind, but the Lord wasn't in the wind. There was an earthquake, but the Lord wasn't in the earthquake. There was a fire, but the Lord wasn't in the fire. It was like, whoa, I never knew that. But then it said the still small voice came after that. And I was like, man, I, I never heard that. It just, as many times as you go through these things, it's like, I don't know why it's some things just, they don't, they just, I don't, they don't go into my permanent memory bank. So I want that to be in my permanent memory bank. There's something to that that's just so recognizable of God saying something and I just can't figure it out. Like where God was, there was fire, there was wind and there was an earthquake. There was a shaking. There was all kinds of things because of God passing through the mountain and he did all this stuff there was evidence that he was there and the still small voice of why are, why are you here you know and he answers asks the same question got the same answer and uh anyways just stuff that's sticking out and i'm kind of laying it down as notes i don't know if this is gonna be a video i'm gonna put on there i put a lot of videos on that isn't the most incredible stuff ever but um Amen. I hope that stirs up some thoughts for us. And the end of First Kings and the beginning of Second Kings. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. There's actually plenty of other things, but not remembering right now. So that's it.